basically what references are is they're basically the extreme opposite of what pointers are. So if we go back and review what pointers are, we can define them like this. So say we had an int x is equal to 60, right? We can create a pointer which references this x value, this x variable, uh, like this. So we can do int asterisk y is equal to the address of x. So this is the reference key right here. This is the ampersand, the reference key. And what this does is it allows us to refer to uh, the address of a variable, right? So what this does, this the reference is um, the reference to x. So if we were to output the y value, right, you would get the address of x, right? If we were to output the the dereferenced y value, we would get uh, the value of 60. Okay. Um, with references, we wouldn't have to go through all this garbage to to get to get y equal to 60. We can do it all in one line, simply all in one line. Um, with references, I said it was basically like uh, the extreme opposite. Um, Instead of starting off with the dereference key right here, you start off with the reference key right there. And instead of having this right here, you would simply do the, the reference of y is equal to x. If we were to output y right here, we would get 60. Okay, so this what this does, this is basically short form for doing all that other stuff in one simple line. Now, we have to assign a uh, an address directly to the y value right off the bat. You have to do it directly. You can't do y is equal to 0 and then um, down somewhere in your code later on do um, int ampersand y is equal to x. You can't do that. You have to do it right away. You have to state it right away that... I want to re uh, I want to refer to the address of x. Um, now here's another interesting thing. If we were to do x is equal to 20, right? If we were to output the y value after that, let's make this easier to read here. Do an end line right there, right? If we were to do this, we'd get 20. So we're indirectly, or really directly, we're changing the value of y, right, through the value of x since we're referring to the address of which um, x is stored in and y is really pointing that same address but it's different in how we interpret it right so x is equal to 20 and we would output y if we were to change the value of y for instance y is equal to 100 or something like that and we would output x let me just show you what you get for this Okay, we get 100 for x. Okay, so really they're they're just they're referring to each other, really. So if y changes, x will change. If x changes, y will change to that same exact value since we're referring to the exact same address. And it's it comes really useful when you're dealing with structures. So let me just show you an, uh, an example here with structures. So if we had a struct over here, struct, uh, just say uh, book or something like that, and Say a book had these following characteristics. Say a book had uh, int pages, char name, and it had double cost. Okay. And we wanted to create an instance of the of the struct book and call it something else uh, struct book and we wanted to call it red or something like that so we have a struct book red and we wanted to give it some initial values some starting values All right so we're gonna go to its pages and we're gonna say it's 120 pages next we're gonna go down the line so the name uh, it's red book okay I don't know and then we wanted to give it a cost so we can give it 1025 right we can create a reference 
which copies the all these values in red into another uh, book. Say we had struct book. Say we wanted to create a backup for red, just in case something were to happen with this data, this data here, and we wanted to create a backup for it. You know, just so the data is still saved. Okay, this is just hypotheticals. It means nothing here. Okay, so we can actually make all these values copy into red backup in one line. Okay, if we didn't have references, what we would have to do is we'd have to copy each individual member type into red backup. Okay, so we'd have to do uh, just say uh, red dot pages is equal to red backup dot pages, and then we have to do red dot name is equal to blah blah blah, and red dot cost is equal to blah blah blah. But copying character strings, it's a little bit different. You can't use the equal operator. You have to use um, a different function, which you'd have to um, incorporate here, include something else. But you'd have to do red dot cost is equal to red backup dot cost. It's very inefficient. If you have thousands of member types, so you have thousands, thousands of these, thousands of integers, thousands of doubles, and all that. This is very inefficient, extremely inefficient. What we can do is we can copy all these member types right here into red backup in one line right this is very very helpful um, so we're using the same concept here so int x equal to 60 that's the exact same thing as saying struct book red is equal to 120 red book and 1025 so the next line we do we create a reference a reference called book backup okay um, this is really not a good example because calling it a backup is not true. It's not. It doesn't make sense because if something were to happen with this data, red backup would be affected as well. So it's not really a good example, but I'm sure it gets a point across to you guys. Um, so in ampersand y is equal to x, we can uh, do the same concept here. So sorry, this is in the wrong spot. So book ampersand red backup is the same thing as saying int ampersand y and then we would make that equal to red okay so that copies all these red values into red backup okay so if you were to output red backup dot uh, cost or something like that let's do a see out see out if we were to do that let's see what we get we get 1025 okay if we were to change um, reds cost red dot cost to hundred dollars right let's see what would happen over here if we would output this again you see that so we get 20, 1025 and then we change the value of red dot cost and then we output red backup dot cost and we get a hundred okay so they're really directly related to each other okay if we were to change uh, say uh, red backup dot um, pages is equal to 180 and if we were to output uh, red dot pages probably guess what we get we get 180 pages since they're both referenced to each other so whatever happens to red happens to red backup whatever happens to red backup happens to red okay so they're re referring to the exact same um, address block in memory so whenever something changes it changes for everything else referenced to it that's just the basics of uh, references. They're very helpful. Okay, they're very helpful. Just say you had a thousand pages, sorry, a thousand integer types in struct book, a thousand doubles, a thousand floats. Instead of copying every member, like every member at a time, you can use the entire block of memory and have another. Uh, another variable refer to that exact same block if you want to make a copy of it. So this is very helpful. Okay. Um.
remember we can't be doing this we can't be setting it to zero okay we have to set it right away to whatever we want to refer to that's basically the only rule of it and uh, and that sums up references so thanks a lot for watching